Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be talking about the USB OTG cables and whether or not they work on a Nintendo Switch. Now OTG stands for on the go and you might be already aware of these cables because you normally use them to connect up things like your mouse or your keyboard onto for example Android phones. Now I went out and I bought this one, it wasn't expensive, they're only about three or four UK pounds and this is a USB-C connector because that's the one that fits into the bottom of the Switch to a standard USB but if you've already got them lying around the house so you might have a micro USB one that you use on your Android phone you might even have these little hubs these on the go hubs again micro USB well, you can reuse these by just buying these little adapters here which is a male USB-C to a female micro USB and they just connect in there like so and now that will work on your Nintendo Switch so you might be able to just reuse what you've already got. Now, in this video I'm gonna be working off the actual Switch tablet, but whatever you see working here will also work on the USB ports on the dock because we've got two ports on the side and we've got one port on the back here. So if, for example, you see me connect up the keyboard and you like the look of it, then you can connect that keyboard straight into the dock and then you won't need to use any USB on-the-go cables. Now let's see what actually works. So I'm gonna plug the on-the-go cable in there now. And first thing I'm gonna do is connect up this USB to LAN adapter. So this is to get a wired ethernet signal into the Nintendo Switch itself. So normally these do work on the dock. I showed that on a previous video, but you can actually get it to work just straight on the Switch tablet itself. Now obviously it's not ideal because you're gonna have more and more weight pulling down on this port here. And if you were to use this long term or if you were to knock it, there's more chance of breaking it because normally the only thing you do here is charge from that port. And then when you plug it into the dock, the dock does the work. But if you have a look here, I'm gonna plug the ethernet adapter into here. So you can see at the moment it is working on Wi-Fi, but I've only got one bar. And if you've watched my previous videos on this, I get really poor connection speeds, often as low as one to two meg when I do have 70 megabits coming into the house. So what I'm gonna do is plug in the ethernet cable. So I've got a really long ethernet cable here. Yeah, and it's plugged into my wall over there. And if you have a look already now, the lights have come on. And if you have a look up there, you can see that I am now connected to the wired connection. It's no longer Wi-Fi, and the connection speeds are much, much better. So I'll just do a very quick one there, and I'll fast forward through it. So I'm gonna go down to internet, test connection. There, download 51 megabits download, and 4.4 megabits upload. So that's really good speeds compared to what they were with Wi-Fi. Just take my word for it that the Wi-Fi is only one or two meg to save me doing a really long video. Okay, so that's that one there. Now let's unplug that and let's go to a keyboard. Let's see if a keyboard works. Well, first of all, I'm just gonna plug in a mouse. So now, the mouse does light up, but unfortunately it doesn't do anything because there's no software on here. There's no browser or anything that I can do anything with. So at this moment in time, the mouse is not working, but you can see it does light up as if it's should be working, but keyboards do work. So if I was to plug in this wired keyboard here, it works, and also the wireless keyboard works as well. So I've got a little Wi-Fi keyboard here. That works as well when you plug in this little adapter. So if I was to now go to, there's not much here that I can actually type, but if I was to go to the Nintendo shop and have to put in my password. Right, so password so instead of having to type it in manually here I can just go down on the keyboard and then delete it all yeah so hopefully in the future when you can do chat and stuff like that there is ways that you will be able to use a keyboard rather than having to use the on-screen and again if you wanted to see the Wi-Fi working the if you want to see the wireless keyboard working and then turn it on here and again so if you have a look here I'm just going to delete that yeah so the keyboards work that's that now let's unplug that unfortunately 
flash drives like this do not work and neither do portable hard drives. So if you want to If you want to get away with not using the micro SD card internally and use one of these, unfortunately it doesn't do anything. So when I plug in the hard drive external one, again, it doesn't do anything. It has got power and I can feel it whirring round. You're not going to be able to hear that. Yeah, it's got power there, but it doesn't do anything. I've got no option to be able to connect anything to it yeah but again maybe in the future they will release something that will work now if you want to use one of these on the go hubs so for example if you want to have your wireless keyboard in there and an ethernet adapter then you can do that so just get yourself a little adapter or buy an a USB C on the go hub I, pre I presume they do exist and then I'm gonna plug it in to here and then for example let's plug in the wireless keyboard. Let's just see if that's working. And I'm also going to plug in the LAN Ethernet adapter as well. You can see that the lights have already lit up. And again, if I go to password, you should be able to hear it even if you can't see it. Yeah. And if I go to back, you can see that it is connected via a wired connection. If you're wondering if you can connect up your Xbox controllers or your PlayStation 4 controllers using the USB on-the-go cable, unfortunately the answer is no. You can't connect them up via Bluetooth, you can't connect them up via the cable, you can't connect them up via the charging cable into the dock either. So you are going to have to go out and buy the Nintendo Pro Controller if you want to use a decent controller. So that's uh, quite a handy thing to know about the USB on the go cable. Right now, there isn't really much you can do with it, but in the future, I can see that it probably will be used for more things. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out. Bye now.